Figma just released mind-blowing features in their config 2023. They introduced a game-changing feature called Auto Layout Wrap, which allows you to wrap the content inside a frame as it changes size. Just think about the possibilities. In this video, I will explain you how to use Auto Layout Wrap feature and how it works. Let's begin. In Figma, now when you create an auto layout, you see this new wrap icon here, which helps wrap the content inside the frame. I have this selected, so when I resize it, see how it wraps and breaks the content to move to next line? Now when I want to use this in a tablet size frame, I don't have to manually adjust the frame. I can just drag and resize to adjust to the tablet size. And same goes for the mobile. This will completely change the responsiveness of design forever. Let's see how it works. If I select this auto layout, we used to have a vertical and horizontal direction, but now we have a wrap option. And if we select all the contents inside wrapped auto layout and see the width, we have new options for min width and max width. I have set the min width to 250 Let's remove this for now and let's see what happens. Now when I resize, it does not wrap because we have not told when to wrap each item. So let's select these again and add min width again. Go to width, add min width and set it to something like 200. Now, when I resize, it does not wrap until the content inside reach the size of 200 pixels. As soon as the size of any item in auto layout goes below 200 px, it breaks and it brings it to the next line. Observe closely, the size of this card is 258 px at this moment and when I resize this auto layout, it will wrap as soon as it reaches 200 px, just like this. But as we know that the all content is filling the container, as you can see, when I was resizing, the card was filling the container. So we can set a max width, select all the content inside and select add max width. Set it to something like 250px. Now when I resize, the width of the content is not increasing more than 250px. And now when I resize and wrap, the content is of maximum 250 px and if I remove this max width it will wrap it again. Let's keep it 250 and see it's wrapping to 250. This is how auto layout wrap works. Now let's have a look at this frame here. We have two items inside this frame, one text that says services and one auto layout wrap of services items just like before. Let's make this frame an auto layout. Let's keep it vertical and make the contents to fill container. This will make the frame completely responsive. The reason is that the children inside it are wrapping auto layout. So now you can imagine the time you can save using auto layout wrap in Figma no more manual adjustment of content for different screen sizes. Figma has released many mind-blowing features in this week like variables, dev mode, and advanced prototyping. And I'm going to go all over those in my videos. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on those. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.